Welcome back to Best Buds. Welcome back. Everybody choose a celebrity. Paul Rudd. Oh no, uh, Jason Bateman. <laughs> Same person. Uh, Wait, can I change mine? Sure. Can I can I have that guy from that news channel that we always laugh at because he's in all the memes? Which one? Hello, I want to fuck your 60 year old daughter. Oh, Alex what was Jones. His name? Yeah, Alex Jones. I vote for Alex. <laughs> all right, fair. Um, Bianca Del Rio. Nice. Bianca <laughs> Del Rio. Player order decided based on how likely the selected celebrity is a vigilante superhero. I'm uh, taking that shit. Uh, no, because Paul Rudd is Ant Man. Or were you Paul yeah. Rudd? Oh or no! Was I Jason no, Bateman? Which, way. which brunette actor was Paul I? Paul Rudd is Ant Man. <laughs> <You're>, <laughs> Me. That was you. That was I you. win. <laughs> Paul Rudd is Ant Man, and Bianca Del Rio is actually a man. So there you go. Whatever. <laughs> right. One, two, guy. three. What? How are you gonna get that too? Because Alex Jones has never done anything good. Yeah, no, he I'm just talking. thinks the frogs are gay. So <laughs> yeah, and he's coming to date your six-year-old, Nick. Fair enough. Fair no enough. No one, nothing good can come of that man. Uh, no, not today, Satan. Not today. <laughs> knock, knock, knock. <laughs> Me outer. Mmm, I would like some creativity, please. Take me to the theater. <laughs> the theater it is! The theater! Oh. <laughs> Day while rehearsing for the class play is as if I'm getting a blowjob. Hot. As I have many times before, your performance is so intense and inspiring. Hot. Unlike my voice. Hot. It will be remembered for generations, which is pretty rad by high school plays standards. Guess what I'm gonna say. Hot. I was gonna say cold. Lukewarm. <laughs> Plus Lukewarm. two creativity. Fantastic. Fanta. Liam stalks past you backstage pretending to talk to himself, but he is clearly speaking for your benefit. Oh, the tangled tribulations of the committed icon last. Icon no, last. I knew no. you were going to fuck that up. <laughs> Iconoclast. There you go, that's it. <laughs> Pronounce all the syllables. Blaze blue. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Continuous shaft. <laughs> <laughs> Continuous shaft. Thank you. <laughs> the talent show is a fascist monument to the misguided ego and public spectacle. The dignified thing would be to sit out the event in protest. Yeet. But that's what everyone expects me to do. Therefore, I must participate. The question is how? How do I foreground my native artistic talent while simultaneously making my making plain my utter contempt for the event? Liam pauses his monologue and gives to give you an opportunity to interject. Any ideas? What is douchey? <laughs> 13 minutes of judgmental staring, <laughs> also known as a Laura story. Oh, yeah. A live mashup of that name. Stravinsky? Stravinsky's Rite of Passage. And no, Rite of, right of, right right of Spring. Mm. <laughs> I do like the last one, but I'm gonna go with the first one because like it's so Liam. <laughs> oh, oh no! Hold it up. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> Have you ever wondered why I always avoid prolonged eye contact? Because you wear bifocals? Of course you haven't. No one ever wonders anything about the mysterious outsider. I avoid eye contact because you see, vampires are cursed with a hypnotic gaze. Hypnotic glaze, of... like a donut. <laughs> I was gonna say, I want a hypnotic gaze. Um, don't give me that look, Kyle. <laughs> I know some hypnotic gaze. <laughs> <laughs> then she introduced me, bitch! <laughs> You're talking to her. Oh, fair enough. <laughs> Anyone who holds my forlorn gaze too long becomes irrevocably infatuated oh. with me. Infatuated? <laughs> infatuated like inside farts. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagine the entire school falling in love with me just like that. Blushy face. <laughs> Every shred of my carefully cultivated unpopularity gone in just 13 minutes. Liam gazes into your eyes for a moment, but not quite long enough. Oh no! Oh, you don't understand. No one understands. Only Hawthorne Heights understands. Only Hawthorne Heights understands me and my chemical romance. <laughs> The best way to love me is to totally hate me. You leave Liam to write poetry about this or whatever. Oh. You lose. Game over. <laughs> okay, before I choose where I go, what we forgot to do, because we did this on our lost footage episode, so. we didn't declare this a clam party, and Nikki never put the oh, clams yeah. in. Oh. And the confetti. So um, Stop playing Heroes of the Storm. Clam party. Wah! High speed. 
Okay. There you go. All right, back to back to business. <laughs> um. Hmm. I gave myself a mental note there. You see what I did? You see. Okay. <laughs> so I don't have a whole lot of fun, and I feel like I need some fun for Scott, right? Uh, I uh, think yeah, that's, definitely. I think that's good right point. now. I'm like super bold, but not really fun. So let's let's go make me some fun. Yeah. So fun was. Is fun the gym? Oh no, is... fun is the party out here. Oh, fun is Outdoors. the tree. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Oh, it looks so pretty at night when it's all lit up. It's got Christmas lights. Oh, yeah. We're gonna meet the furries. I fucking hope <laughs> that so. That day during recess, you start a half hour rave that goes full cray cray. Ooh. You have no idea how it escalates so much, but at one point there are like 300 people. Someone summons demons from Nightmare Dimension. The consequences might distort the fabric of reality itself, but who cares? It's a rad party. You gain plus two funsies. Yoosh. Yeah, shake. You're practicing your very best monster mash when you hear the sounds of an argument. Hey, look, I'm in the background of Which the is so strange in these sacred hallowed oh. halls of education. I can't. Yeah. Anthony. Well, JK, can you imagine? <laughs> oh, Shmimo! Oh Have no, you're gonna talk to yourself! To yourself. <laughs> oh god! Oh no! Oh, they made me their king! And they deserve the bestest, most wonderful king they ever was. You are gonna meet the furries! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I guess so! It's just Vera. <laughs> She's the furry. Oh, and I'm gonna work as hard as I can to be that king, no matter what it takes. Scott. You gotta really, really, really <laughs> like, you gotta really, 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 gotta realize they're not as cute. They're not cute baby. Well, they're not cute little baby animals in the need of a king, right? They're furries. I knew it. <laughs> That's what I call them. Well, I know they're furry, Vera. I'm the one that told you that. No, Scott. They're furries. It's a kink. Well, yeah, Vera. There are many kinks in my plan. That's why I need to work them out and be the best ruler. Forget it. <laughs> Excuse me. Did you say you needed help being a good ruler? I know all about that. Being a king is easy, and Daddy always says only live peasants can stage a rebellion. <sighs> oh, oh, Miranda. Oh, I'm not really sure. Fear is your most important weapon. Your second most important weapon is weapons. <laughs> <laughs> Torture soup, spoons, razor teacups, a knife on fire. You know, the usual. Oh. I don't know, Miranda. I appreciate the advice, but uh, I don't think that's the kind of king I want to be. Nonsense! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'll go get you the butter knife shuriken right now. Uh, it just seems so uh, unnecessary. There must be a better, kinder way to rule. Uh, right, Shmimo? Nope. <laughs> I want them to have a happy time under Scott the First. They've been so nice to me. They've written me beautiful songs, which are about my adventures. Uh, but most of them are the sort of things that I have definitely not done. <laughs> I pulled down my pants. Oh, and they've and made amazing drawings of me. Oh, the furry Sometimes fan I'm art. Pregnant. Which are <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> which, which are very, very generous in their proportions. They assume I have a dog dick and not a human dick. But uh <laughs> work. <laughs> All right, normal rulers make their subjects pay taxes. What if you paid taxes to them? Or flag time. You can't just rule a kingdom with no flag. Without a flag, it would just be a bunch of flagless people. Uh, no, mm. no flagless. All right, well, the top oh. one's money. Flag what was seems the bottom one like be? creativity. Charm, probably. <laughs> or, yeah, no creativity. Neither of these are which, fun. Which neither of them you have. <laughs> You I'd have still more say money your best than one creativity. Is this one, though. But I am gonna remove myself from this decision because I'm bad at people. I am gonna do flag time. I just flag hope. time. Oh no! Not oh. so creative. You're a hundred percent, hundred twenty percent right. Flags are the best. Are they, Nicholas? <laughs> yeah. Let's combine our art powers to create the very best flag ever. You get into the intense art, intense art frenzy, which is kind of hot and intimate. Somehow the two of you end up shirtless and sweaty while painting and doodling. Mm. After three hours of passionate art activity, you put your clothes on again because of decency, but mainly because we don't have a shirtless model for Scott, and admire your work. Whoa, this is a uh, genius. Not really. It's quite simple and reminds you of something, but you're not sure what. I'll show it to my beloved furries. Bye! 
Scott leaves all excited, ready to execute your plan. I hope it's the American flag upside Later, down. <laughs> you stumble upon Scott again. He seems not so happy. Oh, there you are, Shmimo. Your plan went terribly. Oh, no. Oh. Our flag turned out to be the flag of Switzerland. Oh, no, that's so, worse. So neutral. <laughs> <laughs> we pissed off Switzerland. <laughs> So much that they even threatened to abandon their neutral nature to start a war with our kingdom. And then you know we fucked up big time because they didn't even do that during World War II, I think. I'm not very smart, but yeah. Uh, we can't go to war with Switzerland. Our country has like 20 or 30 people at most, and they wear furry outfits. I have a gut feeling we might lose a war against them. Scott leaves sad and stressed with the burden of reaching peace with Switzerland. Aww. Which is a burden a high schooler shouldn't have, even though he's 20. Uh, mm. You lose minus two smarts and minus one creativity. Oh, we never told you why they're so old, did we? Oh, yeah, so what? that they can do dirty things. Yeah, And okay. it's not creepy. Durn. Durn. This is the interwebs. We had to explain it to everyone else. A durn, Nicholas. Don't you adore at me. <laughs> no. Look, Rocco's sad that I'm, I fucked up his story. He's like, Switzerland, <laughs> Antoinette. Are you fucking kidding me? I <laughs> speak Swedish. I'm like, Rocco, well, that's the wrong German, country. I'm German and Japanese. I don't speak s Swiss or Swedish or anything right. like that. <laughs> that day an epic dodgeball match takes place. <laughs> Dodge. Many people fall during the battle. You can't take any more, so you valiantly go to the other team and start negotiating a truce. After hours of diplomacy, you commit to an agreement. What an unexpected twist. You gain plus 10 righteousness. And plus two charm. You join Miranda and Damien's team for a game of two that goes differently. Yay. Come on, shit and dicks, face the power of hell. <laughs> Sorry, shit dicks got me. Yeah. <laughs> Paint this battlefield red, Damien! Grind them all into a thin red paste! Uh. You express yourself. Or you express your worry and confusion over the number of corpses in the gym. Isn't this supposed to be a friendly game? Mm -hmm. Friendly? What the fuck is friendly? I only have two words in the vocabulary and then kill and murder. Honor, glory, feudalism. These are the words we still fight for and these are the words we will die for! Ah. <laughs> Whoa, it turns up you didn't sign to die. You've got to stop this before it turns into a foops or something. You don't want any foops. <laughs> no foops. <laughs> no foops. Zero foops. <laughs> Get off my nuts, narrator. You don't understand the ancient reasons for dodgeball slaughter. Many died before us. We won't waver. Or guys, just dodgeball. Let's throw the ball and have fun. It's definitely get off my nuts, narrator. <laughs> Fine, be that way. Bitch. Broom. Bitch. Oh, you it's already up your shotgun. Why do you have a shotgun? And stand behind Damien, or beside Damien, but double kill. Triple kill. Quad damage. The gym is ruined. Blood is everywhere. Half of your classmates are maimed. Are you happy? Here, have plus three money as loot or something. Ooh, Nikki. It's a dating game and you killed a bunch of people. How should I know what to give you? I'm not supposed <laughs> to be on your nuts. Me, 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 me. Me, 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 me. Ooh, it's not me. What? This is the first time this has ever happened. It's not Mia Walter. <laughs> but it's something happening to Bluebertino. What happened to Bluebertino? Week at time, you're with Miranda, Liam, Shmimo, and Mia Walter. Mia Walter. Mia Walter. Mia Walter in Liam's apartment. Gibraltar. Gibraltar, because tonight is game night. Damien and Scott are late. How surprising. Ring. Oh, <laughs> hey guys. My friend, I hope it's okay, Liam. It's totally cool in the board games. Her name is Olga. <laughs> You do realize we can just see that's a huge owl bear, probably disguised as a high schooler, right? Prepare to die, egg bear! Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, Liam. You don't see us accusing you of being a huge owl bear, poorly disguised as a high schooler? That is technically right. We haven't done that before. Therefore, I feel inclined to trust him. Whatever. Can we just play some games? Mm-hmm. Very good. And before you even try, no, Miranda, we're not playing your version of Risk, where you start with a huge underwater empire. 
It didn't sound funny, and it turned into be completely unfunny. Lit. Oh, what about... No, not werewolf either. We won't play that until you learn that you're the only werewolf when you get the werewolf card, and not just always. Well, damn, we should totally play. Nah, cards against monster kind, Damien. It requires no strategy nor skills aside from making vulgar jokes. We get it. It's because... Eh, we get it. You like it because it's totally wrong. Oh, Jesus Christ, fucking... <laughs> <laughs> Read the words, Nikki. Today we're enjoying a refined and complex Euro game. And you know it's a Euro game because we'll spend more time learning the rules than actually hmm. playing. It's oh, just no. going to Ikea. <laughs> <laughs> and playing a life-sized version of Catan. Chess 2. It includes deception, dice, deck building, an auction system, dozens of figurines, and a hexagonal tile placement. Bleh. Hexagonal? <laughs> hexagonal. After three hours of learning the rules and an extra hour for a proper setup, you start playing. But it isn't long before Olga starts wreaking havoc and destroying everything. <gasps> that is not nice! Okay, broker, brace yourself. Olga might actually be a white owlbear. Disguised <laughs> out of high school, but we thought it would be cool to sneak in a white owlbear into a game night because of... Reason. Oh, sorry, we thought it'd be super nice and inclusive for owlbears. My apartment, my beautifully and minimalistically decorated apartment is being destroyed! See, he does like Ikea. <laughs> he does. <laughs> also, is she somehow winning? She is. She is, but somehow you need to save Game Night and subdue a wild owlbear. The only logical way seems to be by beating her at chess too, but she's kind of super good at it. It will take two proficient tabletop game <laughs> gamers to beat the owlbear. You know you kick ass, but which one of your friends is also amazing at tabletop games? Shmimo is the best at games. She plays Russian Pictionary once a month, and if she's still alive, that can only mean she always Mew Alter. Meow. 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 General Meow is a legend among board game players. He is one of the three survivors of the Monopoly game night of 98, which escalated from a technicality on a dice roll to one of our saddest national tragedies, with the victims being in the two digits. I like the Russian roulette one better, but I think it's a smart one, and I'm pretty sure Ms. Brainy over here going for Liam. No, it's a fun one! Oh! That doesn't seem like a smart strategy. That's what I thought would be strategy! And I'm pretty sure those tokens you're using aren't even from this game. Oh, you're like really, really bad. Okay, so according to this card you drew, now you and Mia Walter have to roam the forest in search of three golden berries. That's weird. There aren't any forest tiles in chess too. No, no, I'm pretty sure it means roaming the actual forest in search of three actual golden berries. Purr! Lame! The rules are rules. Bluebertino and Meowter, please leave my house and go to the forest. <laughs> you spend the rest of the night looking for those stupid golden berries. It is anything but fun. You and Meowter hear the long distant laughter of your classmates, and you both lose negative two boldness and negative one fun. Nicholas! I'm sorry, I thought you'd be fun! I am not fun. Fucking asshole. I am not you're fun. Because you're not fun. You ruined it for me. I am not fun. We couldn't even be one single egg bear. What is bad? Okay. Nick is bad. <laughs> All right. Uh, we'll resolve this argument next, next time on Best Buds. I'm funny and Nick is bad. Hi, Daniel. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> At least you don't need boldness or fun for what you're trying to do. No, All but right, I need terrible. points. I need points. For my bottle! For my bottle! Yes. <laughs>